Hello, Swati. This is a new segment on our channel that I'm calling Rian Pasa Thai Ga Pom, or Learn Thai with me. So in our last video, I mentioned that one of my goals for the year is to learn to speak Thai. So Pom Gamlang Rian Put Pasa Thai, or I am learning to speak Thai. Are you gonna say everything in this video in both languages? I can't do that. Oh. I'm just showing off a little bit. I would be really impressed. I'm just showing off a few things here and there. And you know, as you're watching this, and if you do speak Thai, I'm sure I am butchering my pronunciations <laughs> yeah. and my intonations, but I'm just learning. My only language experience in the past was learning Latin in high school. And that was kind of a required thing because I was homeschooled, a Catholic homeschool. I had two years of Latin. Can't tell you a damn thing that I learned. And then in college, I had two years of Spanish. Again, I don't remember much from that, but I tried to remember as little from college as I could. After college, I spent years avoiding learning another language because, well, for one thing, I'm old. Pom ayu samsip hok pi. I'm 36 years old, almost 37 years old. And I have memory retention issues and probably ADHD. So anyway, why Thai? Why am I learning Thai language? The reason is during COVID, I started watching a certain genre of drama on YouTube called Boys Love, which sounds just wrong. It sounds wrong. How do I explain this? I don't know. I don't watch it. <laughs> it's gaze of our lives. Is how I would describe it. Thank you. You were welcome. But uh, in watching these videos, I discovered that the Thai language is kind of beautiful. And not only that, through the repetition of certain words in certain dramas, I started picking up things here and there. And I was like, well, why the f now? Uh, you know, I'm just going to see if I can learn this. So in the interest of bettering myself, because I certainly wasn't doing much of that in the first half of 2020, I decided to learn another language and it just happened to be Thai. And so where I started was by downloading uh, several different apps on my phone just to start learning some of the basics. Some of them were paid, some of them were free. And I'll get into some of those apps in another video, but they're a great starting point in starting to pick up some of the words, some of the phrases, even learning about the Thai script, the Thai alphabet. But where I found they were lacking was in the ability to be able to read actual Thai copy because it's easy to get comfortable with learning to read based on the romanization. And where I think some of the apps were lacking is one of them I used, for example, to learn the alphabet, but they didn't teach you about the classes for the different characters. They didn't teach about tone marks, about how those affect the inflection. Or for example, you know, I learned the vowels, but I didn't learn how they combine together to create different sounds. So I took a step back from the apps and purchased a book called Read Thai in 10 Days by uh, Artit Joyaso. And it's a, like a 10 day crash course in how to be able to read Thai copy. And uh, one of the nice things about it is it really adapts to different learning styles. So my learning style, you know, is through repetition and gradually building upon what I read. And sometimes what I learn is a lot more roundabout than the way other people learn. So I will probably delve a little bit deeper into this book in another video, but a couple of notes that I have about it is even though it's read Thai in 10 days, really it's 10, or 14 plus days, I should say. And even the author, you know, encourages you if you're having a tough day to slow down, you know, move it off to the next day rather than trying to, to force what you're learning. And some chapters you just can't take in one day because there's a lot of information being conveyed. But I am almost through the end of this book and I found the, the structure of it, the lesson plan, if you will, to be very helpful. So one of the things the book does is have me take certain sections of text and parse them. Not to be able to actually go in and tell what exactly the text is saying, but to uh, look at the sentence structure. Because one of the really difficult things in learning to read Thai is that there aren't any punctuation marks. All of the text is one long continuous string. So instead- Like a run on sentence. Like, yeah, like everything I say, basically, is one run on sentence. And you have to determine what am I saying and where does it end? Because it never <laughs> seems to actually end. But there's- This video is never gonna end. 
but there's actually certain <clears throat> defining characteristics that help you be able to read it. The vowels and their placement within a syllable will help you determine the sentence structure. And so it's like, yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this, but then they threw a curveball at the end of the book and they had me try to parse text in two different fonts. One in kind of a modern font that's used very often in Thai print and the other one in Thai cursive. And holy crap, they look so dissimilar from everything that I've been learning. So I've been kind of having to go back and forth between the back of the book where they show the different characters in these fonts and try to figure it out, which I think is what the author wants, to try and slowly get you used to uh, looking at various forms of Thai text. But uh, one of the more recent examples, again, was the Thai cursive. So taking that and then being able to parse it into this here. And of course, I made mistakes along the way, but I feel like I am learning. It is a rewarding experience. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't feel it wasn't rewarding or if I wasn't learning something. This isn't a language that I am realistically going to use outside of maybe traveling to Thailand on, um, you know, a vacation. I'd like to go to vacation on vacation to Thailand someday. Mm, okay. But it's not like I'm gonna be learning this uh, for conducting business. But I do feel like I'm learning something. I have the tendency some days to be hard on myself and say, you know, are you really learning anything? Or, you know, isn't this taking you too long to learn anything? Or, oh, hey, you know, you, you forgot this word. And, you know, it, it can be discouraging. But then there are other things where, uh, let's say the, the Thai alphabet, when I first started looking at it, you know, you have the 44 different consonants and I think 22 different vowel combinations. And at first I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. And again, I was relying strictly on the romanization. Without me realizing it, I had slowly begun to learn the characters and now it's like second nature to me. I'm, I've actually, I can recognize them and tell you what the, the phonetic sounds are for them and the, the classes for them. So little by little, I am learning some of the basic elements of the Thai language. I don't expect that I'm going to be able to speak Thai like a native, but uh, you know, I'm having fun with it. So I know this was rather lengthy and I tend to ramble on, but I hope you enjoyed getting to learn a little bit about my experience learning the Thai language so far. And I'm going to bring you along on the journey as I learn little bits here and there, I'll share them with you. So thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, and we both will see you again soon with another video. Oh, yes, wait, both of us. But you're going to do a thing with the young people media. The, yeah, the I mentioned that in the new video. I'm going to attempt to TikTok. I don't tomorrow. Know. TikTok tomorrow. Is that it won't be? be tomorrow when this comes out, I don't think. I don't think you... It won't be. Yeah, <laughs> once I have the channel name, I will share it with you. But uh, keep an eye on this space for more. And we will see you again soon. Bye. Anyway, Are you gonna tell us about like this... learning Thai or some. What's this rather queer-looking contraption over here? It's you. Who knew? Nobody looks at their crotch and smiles that much. I mean, if you had my crotch, you would.